right. We got a couple of them um, to react. I am not ready for you guys, but but anyways, we are going to. Oh, sorry, forgot to introduce myself. How rude. What is up, Amalettes? It's me, Amma Jane, on Amma Jane TV. This is June. June, say hi to everyone. Um, so we are going to react to a to a um. I don't know if it's a project group or a subgroup or a group in general called Beat Burger. I heard of Beat Burger. I saw this Beat Burger was meant to to debut last year or this year, earlier this year, but it's NCT debut instead. Uh, this group was, I don't know if it's elderly, this group is all like older groups, older members, I'm not really sure. But I know, I don't know if it's a boy group or a girl group, I don't know if it's a band, I don't know nothing. So they came up with a new music, they came up with a music video called Vagabond. Vagabond sounded like the Spanish vagabundo, if you don't know what that means, means someone who's a tramp. That's what it sounds like. Vagabond, vagabundo. It sounds like you call it someone a tramp. But with that said, we ain't going to react. Oh, my eyes are so itchy. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I must wait. We are going to react to Beat Burger Vagabond in three, two, one. Oh, I love the visuals. Hold on. I like this. There's the sea, there's water, and there's this flying object with a person. Oh, it's a boy group, I think. Who are you? Hi. Fame. Um, it's just that one person, okay. I know it's a kind of EDM. Is it just him? just him okay I thought there was gonna be more people but anyways how old is this guy cuz he looks pretty young it's just him he's a so he's like that one person I could be wrong I could be wrong Oh, so it's him, okay. So it's just him, okay. Well, he's like a minion because there were millions of them. this 
guy because he looks he, he might be older than he thinks I might think he's older this is weird this is from SM Entertainment that's so weird I'm just in in orange don't have any words is this from SM Entertainment like wow I, I'm just just to let you know I'm just silent because I'm speechless because I never imagined I never imagined that SM Entertainment would actually pull out a group like this or a band I don't know oh there's one guy oh planet thing cube got exploded uh, oh yeah what kind of kind of reminds me of fairy tales tartarus <laughs> sorry it kind of did kind of remind me of tartarus from tartarus arc from fairy tale so yeah the the whole there's a little they have a, a guild that looks like a cube that is always floating around somewhere on the sky just like that and when uh, fairy tale was fighting when fairy tale guild was fighting against tartarus guild on that thing on that cube one one way or another the the whole cube actually clashed to the ground and that's what it reminded me of when tartarus cube just the cube itself the cube itself not the people in it but the cube kind of remind me of tartarus that's about it but anyways interesting okay i've been my mind has said the word interesting for a, for a good two weeks thanks to the babysitting for those who are british you know of peppa pig there's one character who keeps saying interesting that's what i keep ah i never imagined that peppa pig would be this popular and a certain phrases and certain catchphrase would be this pop this contaminating into your mind and saying certain words that's what Peppa Pig does to me so that's the thing I, I'm saying right, right now it's interesting that SM Entertainment is able to pull out from their bags or from somewhere around the corner of the dark cupboards this kind of weapon interesting it's interesting 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 am I mad about it it's okay I mean I'm not a big EDM no it's a certain extent I like EDM but it's not in that you know that crazed craze that sound that kind of sound I haven't heard that for a while and it's really popular obviously the one that developed it the most in EDM is obviously in the UK more than America because America kind of don't have that back in the days but back in the days like in the 90s when I was like what four five years old like like mid no it wasn't say mid well now around the 90s like when I was a kid this was this sound was really popular back when there was no technology just imagine when there was no technology there was no gps and they used the, the, the they still have it they we still have them somewhere around london everyone in london you still have them but they don't work but the phone booth but those phone booths smell so bad it's just disgusting i can't even touch them because i can't even open the door because they smell like pure piss right now <laughs> don't know why they're still there but they're still there but somehow some in some way or another they still work some of them still work some of them just broken so but the one who are in good shape <laughs> they work so they used to use this massive book called the yellow book the yellow pages i'm sorry the yellow pages and they i don't know how they're able to find the location where this kind of party because they used to have this young people mainly teenagers and young people used to go there to have a rave or have a party kind of have ships that's the word 
if you're urban, you know this word shubs. They will go to have a shubs in this, you know, somewhere in England, somewhere in London, back in the days. So they will find the address somehow, somewhere or another. So when they go find these places, you can imagine, just imagine, with no technology the way we use now to find certain places like the Google Maps. There was no such thing as Google and Google Maps. They didn't exist. So I can I can actually try and imagine myself as a teenager at the time trying to find places to go to go party into these kind of music. Like wow. Wow. But anyways, back to this. Um hmm, it's like I said this before, I said it was interesting. It is interesting. I never seen this before, if I be honest. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So I give this an 8 out of 10. I thought this was going to be a somewhat a group or a subgroup or that kind, you know, the long line, that kind of thing. But no, it's just that one guy. I'm like, oh, there's no more members. So, yeah. Overall, I kind of enjoyed it, but I'm not mad about it. But yeah, it kind of gave me that kind of flashback kind of back in the days well I can imagine the young people doing this but anyways with that being said I'm going to say bye to everyone June say bye to everyone I love you all and everyone and sarang